Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen some different nice applications we already did with our Bamix. Now we have this nice chest dough we want to do together with you. We have here some flavors, we have some vanilla sugar, we have some yeast, we have butter and milk, which we make hot because this is very important. I already did this. So we take this into the bowl, we'll pour everything inside. Perfect. Now we'll put this away. Now we have two eggs or one egg, basically. We use only one egg here. Perfect. And we mix this together first. So we use our chopping blade, just go through. And because a bowl is always quite large, so we angle it a little bit and go with a low speed, mix it together first. Then we have our yeast, we'll put the yeast inside. It's important that it's mixing up together with the hot milk. Now it smells already. Now we're gonna put all the flavor inside. Perfect. And we have also the vanilla sugar we put on top of it. Now we just go through, pass through, very gently, very easy. You can see it is perfectly done. Just don't worry, the Bamix is doing all the jobs. You just need to pass through. From time to time, you just go through here. And our dough is almost done. Just don't worry, the Bamix can handle it. Now our dough is done. So we take it in our hand. All right. Just pull this out and we just wash it. We give it a rinse. And our Bamix is clean again. Very easy. All right. We have done this dough already. Now we'll clean it up a little bit here in our bowl, take it out on the table, and then we just go through a little bit just to make sure that everything is done nicely. Just a few times. So by the way, when you do the milk at the beginning with the butter, just need warm milk, not really hot, huh? warm milk. All right, so we have done this. We'll take our plate, we'll put this on our plate and just let it go a little bit. We will cover it with towel. So, perfect, and then we just keep waiting. Now we have prepared our dough. We keep it go a little bit and then we push it again, keep it go again. Now we split the parts in three same similar parts and we're gonna roll this to make our nice bread. So we put a little bit of flavor here and just try to roll it a little bit. Very easy. Just roll it a little bit, just make it longer. All right, so we have three same similar size here. Now we're gonna put them together. So we'll catch them together here. So now we are going to make our nice dough here and the bread is almost done. Look at this. 
all right? So now we're gonna cover it and just let it go for a while and then we'll come back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will see the final product, which looks like this, all right? So our bread dough is just ready to go to the oven. We bake it in the oven and then we see the result as follows because we already did one for you just to save time. So let me open the oven. We just close it before, it's still hot here, but let me see. Wow, look at this. First, after, absolutely great. So you can make your own bread with your Bamix at home. This is a multifunctional, all-in-one kitchen machine. Believe me or not, but this is gonna be a nice breakfast for tomorrow morning.